The challenge in this week's lab is building an array of objects. Our albums are going to hold arrays of songs. Now we've seen this before. In lab four, we built a deck class that contained an array of cards. The deck class had an instance variable whose type was array of cards. Let's review what we did then. Our instance variable was named cards and had the type array of cards. In our constructor, we used the new statement to allocate space for 52 cards. Since a card is a reference type, that allocates space for 52 references. In order to fill that array, our constructor used the new statement to create our 52 cards. Here's how the first one worked. We created a card that was the ace of spades. We gave it a suit of zero and a face value of zero, and then we stored it in the zeroth position of the cards array. So let's watch how our albums and songs will get set up. This is how we create a song object. The constructor has two parameters, the title and the duration of the song in seconds. So this song's name is Clarity, and its duration is 4 minutes and 32 seconds, 272 seconds. In a memory diagram, that statement looks like this. The declaration of the variable s allocates enough space for a reference. The new statement calls the constructor, which will store the parameters into the instance variables. The constructor returns the pointer to the new object, and the assignment statement stores that pointer into the variable s. Creating an album is a little more complicated. This line declares a variable named a, whose type is album. The new statement calls the constructor with two pieces of information, the title of the album and the number of songs the album will hold. Album will have three instance variables, title, which is just like the zillion titles we've already built, number of songs, which is an int that holds the numbers of songs the album is currently holding, and songs, which is an array that will hold the songs in the album. Our album constructor is going to allocate space for that array so that the album is ready to hold songs. Once we have created an album and a song, we use the album's addSong method to put that song into the album. AddSong just has to store the song that it is given into the first empty spot in the album songs array and increment the number of songs that the album is holding. This lab outlines the tests for you, but you write the actual test code. Here's a big clue. Each line in the outline translates to exactly one line of code in your tests. Be careful to follow the design of the UML diagram. The lab also gives a description of what every method is supposed to do to help you out. Pay attention to all of those when you're building this because your code is going to have to run against my tests, so you need to name the methods and make them work exactly the way the lab tells you to.